Hey, I'm Lane. Yo, I'm Brad. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Radwood TV. Stop and deal with the bind real quick. I gotta, what? The bind in the steering, mm. there's a little fix that I have to do. Okay. And I have to get it to bind mm -hmm. the right way. Yeah. By going full lock. Okay. And then it'll bind this way instead of that way. Uh huh. <laughs> gotcha. So, so as you can tell, this is a really like, it's fixed. It's a perfectly fixed Perfect. car. Good thing we fixed it, cause you know. Well, I told you the steering had a bind. I just drove it a thousand miles. I drove to Las Vegas and back. Yeah. And it it didn't kill me. Yeah. Um, okay. But it's not great. It needs to be fixed. It definitely needs to be fixed. And I think we need to fix it. Yes. Show me what you got going on with this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of knew you would think that. Um, so there's two half inch Delrin spacers that were custom machined by a um, buddy of mine named Jimmy. He's the guy that brought the Teslanda to Radwood at HoopteCon. Mm -hmm. And he does some really amazing fab work. And uh, he helped me out with this. So there's there's some spacers in here that space the top of the strut mount to the body. Okay. And because of that, we had to put in these longer studs to the top mount. And so they're like two inches long now in order to clear that, that extra inch distance. Or, yeah, inch. And uh, because of that, we, on that side it's fine, but on this side the heads of those bolts are just a little bit too tall. So it binds in the steering. So eventually, at, at the moment I don't have the wherewithal to deal with it, but eventually I'm going to have to pull this strut back out and machine those heads down to get it to, to properly steer. Uh, right now it's just got a little bit of binding that I don't really appreciate. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> if you look at the inside, there's really only two places where it's rubbing. There's a bump on the, on the top here at about this point. And this is the inner fender well. And then there's a, at the very bottom, there's like a reinforced section that sticks out just a little bit and that's getting rubbed down to bare metal by the tire. So I think if we focus on those two points, if we beat the top one in a little bit, just like, it doesn't need very much, like maybe a quarter of an inch or less. And then the bottom one, I think if we use like a flap disc and just kind of grind it down, uh, that'll be enough to get the front to clear. What's it gonna happen, the truck falls out? Yeah, exactly. We're just banging stuff, cutting pieces of metal off. You can see it has a little bit of rubbing issues with its uh, massive lift. How much ground clearance, Brad? 13.1 inches. 13.1 <laughs> inches of ground clearance, but it scrapes over little bumps in the road. So you know, go figure. We have these awesome BFG all-terrain TA KO2s. Those are pretty dope. On OZ Racing Rally wheels. Pretty cool. As provided by Tire Rack. Oh yeah? Shout out to my buddy Efren. Nice. He's probably not watching. Of course not. Um, these things are dope. I can go anywhere with these tires. It's awesome. Yeah. Like, yeah, it rubs a little bit, a lot, some, but you can go anywhere. So it looks like we're rubbing through the charcoal canister and we banged out this area a little bit with a hammer and we're going to buzz off this bottom section right here and hopefully it won't rub anymore. Uh, right now I'm removing the evaporator canister and it was in the way of the tire and who needs it? Right? Who needs emissions? Right? I am generally pro atmosphere and uh, anti-emissions, but today it's uh, causing me issues. So I'm gonna break the law, technically.
Now, kids, you when you're glasses on? when you're home, you need to have safety glasses and approved footwear. Yes, <laughs> like sandals. Sandals. This is a, you know, in some ways, David Freiberger is an idol of mine because he's a good writer and he gets a lot of shit done. And uh, he wears flip flops when he uses a death wheel. So, flip flops and death wheel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's a look at our handiwork. Look at that, just beautiful. Would you just look at that? Beautiful work we did. Look at that, would you just look at it? And there's Brad's handiwork. He just, uh, yeah, spring perch. Doesn't need to be that strong, don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? Cause cutting stuff doesn't hurt the strength of it at all. No, it's fine. Yeah, cool. That's fine. Don't worry about it, Brad. It's, it's fine, Lane. Don't worry about it. It's just a unibody. It's fine. It's fine if you just cut stuff apart. I will see you there, or I will see you at another time. Yeah, that's fine. But let's get in, let's go do a full throttle Excel and see if it still rubs in the back. Okay. A little oh, bit. Oh, very little. A little bit, a little bit. That's a bummer though, it still does rub a little bit. So you need to take off even more material. I don't know how much more can go, and I d it depends on where it's actually hitting. Yeah. It's, I pulled out probably a quarter of an inch. So it's a definitely yeah. a big improvement. Yeah. For sure. And then we're still rubbing up front a tiny bit. But, but not, it, yeah, not nearly as bad. Like, no. when we went to lunch, we went into a tiny parking space, yeah. and I had to do like a 27 point turn because I could only go a couple of degrees. Yeah. But now I probably could have done that same turn in three instead of, mm -hmm. you know, 19 or whatever it ended up being. Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely a huge improvement over what it was. Um, I don't think it's ever going to be perfect. Like, this is always going to be a compromise yeah. for the sake of coolness, you know. Uh -huh. It's not as bad as, like, a stance car or something where you have to negotiate over, tra you know, train tracks or around bumps or yeah. anything. But, um Good, huh? Yeah. Nothing. Also, that was all the way to 7,000. Nice. So it rings it out pretty good. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you did it. She rubs. I can smell the rubber. 